Hello, Squids. This is Squeavy here with another, uh, you know, tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will be covering gamepad things. And you can see I was playing around with this earlier. Uh, I have a whole bunch of. It's a hodgepodge. Don't, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll get into it. Um, anyways, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our game controllers. I have here my Logitech game controller. Um, so. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure you know what a game controller is, but just in case you don't, let me mansplain this. It's it's a um, it's, it's like a little video game device. You know, you you hold it and it has buttons and joysticks and you and you do stuff. I probably didn't need to mansplain that, but I did anyways. Anyways, let's go ahead and create a new Java project. Um, I might turn on my webcam. I don't know. Uh. Actually, I'll turn it on just a second to show you what I'm talking about. So what I'm talking about. Get out of here. I'll show you uh, all the other stuff. Alright, anyways, um, this is called this game, game pad tut. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get LWJGL. Um, that's a pretty simple get. Um, I'll put a download link in the description. Um, you just need to download it, and then when you have it downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up, and you'll get, you know, something kind of like this. Uh, when you when you extract it and all that good shenanigans, uh, you'll get something that looks kind of like this. Um, you have your jar files and your natives. Um, just pick your OS, and then your natives will be here. Uh, this is my Windows natives. So, the first thing we need to do is just drag all of this right here. Yes, copy files. And we're going to do this, do this, build path, add to build path. Alright, we've done that. Now you just need to, uh, Hold on, OCD thing had to do that. Negative windows. And then we just take all this and move it here. Hit OK. There you go. You've done it. Give yourself a round of applause. Anyways, uh. Just create a new class called here. Main. Now we're call something main, I think. Make yourself a main method without failing miserably. Okay, now that we've done this, we need to do a few things. <laughs> um, we need to create a new controller. Uh, we will just be doing things that will initialize the controller and pull the controller. Um, it's basically all. I'm not quite sure what it means by pull, but. We need to create a static controller. Controller. C O N T. I'm not going to say that out. Uh, controllers. Dot create. Alright, so we're going to create a whole bunch of controllers. So this is just going to say, alright, we have a whole bunch of this shenanigans. Let's, uh, let's do stuff with it. I'm kind of new to all this, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, not quite sure what's going to go on. No. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to try catch. And then we just need to controllers dot pull. There you go, you've done basically everything you need to do to set up your controller. Now we actually go by and list all the controllers. So let's make a full loop. Size equal to zero. I is less than. I is less than. Controllers. Dot get controller count. I plus plus. There you go. Um, 
CLNT is going to be equal to controller controllers dot get controller of i and then I just need to output the name of the controller uh, CONT dot get name get the name man get the name if we run this, Kim Jong Un might appear. There you go. See, it's Kim Jong Un. No, I'm kidding. That's um, this is Gamepad F310. Uh, th this is my Gamepad. Yay. Um, so now that we've gotten that done, we can go ahead and. List all the buttons and list all the names. But what you can do, you can all, you just put us all in the uh, for loop. It's going to be equal to controllers dot get controller i. So it's only going to do this for as many controllers as there are, and this is very efficient. Mm-hmm. Efficient indeed. Um, now what we could do is we could just go by and list all the, uh, controller names, um, all the buttons. Let's just start with the buttons, alright? Uh, int n is equal to zero, it's n is less than, um, c-o-n-t dot get button count n plus plus. Um, I plus no, 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 and plus that plus um, C O N T dot get Buton name. Woo! All right, now if we run this. There you go. And you can see you got a whole bunch of stuff. This is seems to be the um Yeah, okay. This is the uh USB keyboard. This here's the game pad. Um that's just do a bit of problem solving here. If um dot get name dot equals or actually this not you don't have to do this actually this is just to um, get rid of a lot of the stuff in the cons in the uh, console chat thing, I just don't like how much. Um, oh, eight minutes. Oof. I just personally don't like how much clutter there is in the console chat. I I I need it to be neat. You know what I mean? There you go. You see that? All right. Now, now we're only ever going to see things that are not. I mean, this is very, very specific to this specific computer setup, so you don't really want to do this if you're making a game. Because, you know, what if the person has a different type of USB keyboard and it... You know what I mean, it's just, it's just confusing. It's just, just, just stuff. Okay. We're going to create a, a public static boolean uh, is buton. Uh, Okay, while true. Ooh, and this is actually much, much good. This is much, it, it's much good. Um, so, uh, for one thing, um, you see this if statement here, right? You see uh, how it says, you know, you're only going to do this if you find the button. Now, suppose you didn't find the button, 
or no, actually, it only does this if it found if it's not the keyboard. Suppose it's not. Suppose you just didn't do that. Um, here you want to have an if statement. This is because because of the current way I set up my program, it's kind of redundant. But you just want to say if you know, um, you know, can well actually, actually, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, you know, you could find a way around this, uh, because if you didn't have this, it would just get caught in this. I'm probably not making any sense, am I? No, I'm, I'm really not. I'm really, really, really not. Ooh, I know! Uh, cmt dot poll if cmt dot get button name of um, zero dot equals, uh, buton zero, buton zero. If it's not that, then you're going to break. This works well. I hope. Actually, hold on. There we go. That, that should work well. That should work. Um, otherwise, you're just going to go ahead and do what I want you to do. Is buton is going to be equal to t dot is pressed zero and you're just gonna do SS out is buton is buton. There we go. Now if you run this alright and if you hit A it, it works. Oh hold on. Oh wait. Yep works just fine. It works like a charm with a whole bunch of debugged Oh jeez. There we go, it's just being slow. So, with that being said, we can do other stuff like accesses. <sighs> Hold on. Get. Axis count. Get. Axis name. There you go. Um, let's just not worry about this right now. I'm going to explain what I'm doing in a second. I I typically have troubles explaining things. Um, I I can't get what's in my head onto a YouTube video. It is just who I am. But okay, you see this? You see this? <sighs> yeah. So what we can do now? Um, cmt dot get access name of zero dot equals there. Alright, you're just going to go here, and access. Okay, what this is going to do, is it's just going to say, alright, we're going to get the button and, you know, hold on, hold on, I, I want to see if this works. There we go, see it works. I'm going to show you exactly what's going on here. Um, as you can see, we have a whole bunch of numbers. Uh, so, actually, let me run this and go, no, get out of here, Logitech. Like, Alright, go here. Let me just quickly turn on my webcam. Okay. So, you see this, right? Check this out. 
you can see as I move the stuff, it does stuff. And then if I hit A, if it doesn't freeze. Oh, it's freezing. You can see it says true. And that just radical. So, uh, with this being said, button zero is quite obviously A. And it, it goes through stuff like button one, two, there, there are different buttons on your um, controller, and it does different stuff. So, basically, this is the setup. Um, this is just to, you know, I feel like I explained this pretty well. Um, so yeah, this is this is my code. Uh, I'm gonna put this on GitHub. Um, it's not gonna be documented. I would warn you. Uh, this actually, I'm just going to explain it. This if statement just says if it's not you want to do it if it's the gamepad. If it's not USB keyboard, this is only this is specific to my setup. So um, I got this name from when I outputted all of the uh, input. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, that, that's my dad. So. Yeah, that's what all this does. Um, damn it, I lost my turn on. Alright, this just uh, gets all the button names, gets all the access names. This says, you know, you're just going to eternally do this. You're going to eternally run this method. Um, just pull it. Uh, if it's if it's not what you want it to be, i.e., if it's not, like, what you want it to be, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you get it. Alright, Squid, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, please please give me feedback in the uh, comments below. Like, subscribe, all that dandy stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!